Hey guys, welcome to the tool trailer. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the lighting and uh, we'll go over a couple different things that I have for it. You maybe see there's one aluminum track mounted up there. Uh, we'll work on those a little bit and getting all this stuff wired up. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Suppose we'll see how much of this I can get, but I found these eight foot aluminum channels that will hold um, a LED strip light. And I have uh, two lights in here now. We're gonna take those ones down and put uh, them up into the channel. And then I'd also like to do one on this uh, underside of this tool cabinet here. So um, I started playing around a little bit here. Um, I found these things at uh, the Menards, but essentially this guy mounts on to here like such and then I've got this like cover that'll snap over it and I can run my wires from the low one the end of the channel I can scoot them up uh, and then new connection and run this one out so uh, this one I had to modify a little bit here so this guy was connected and I actually found a use for this thing um, it doesn't usually have enough ripums to do anything, but it cut through this little thin stuff pretty all right. So, um, that's that. So I'm going to trim this one up here and then we'll go ahead and we'll get those mounted up and we'll get the aluminum channels hung so that we can get some lights in them. All right, so essentially all that we're going for here is uh, a place to hide the wires that will wrap up and around. So this guy will kind of go like that. And then this guy here will go like that. It's kind of hard to hold. Uh, that way it just kind of hides everything. And then I'll put the aluminum channel in here so that it comes out and goes down the line. So the laser beams are set up and that's just giving me a spot here all the way across uh, where the channel needs to be mounted up. So uh, that one I believe is eight feet. This one is just a little bit shy of eight feet. So I'm gonna go grab the channels and bring those in here so that we can get uh, the length cut and figure out how these little guys are gonna work. So here I am with my shockwave bits that I still don't like, but uh, got to pre-drill uh, some holes in the channel. So these are actually 94 inches and that's what I need for the first one. I mounted these guys up they're going to require a little bit of fine tuning to get to look pretty, but um, that's okay. So let's hang up this first one here. Alrighty, so we have a little transition there and we have one centered up on the underside of the cabinet. So now I will cut this one down and do the same thing. All right, so the lights that we're using are LED MO, LED, LED MO, LED MO, Finding Nemo, I'm not sure. Um, so I got these on Amazon. Uh, let's just, I'll run through the specs quick. So. She is, uh, lamp type is 12 volt so that it works with all of our other 12 volt accessories. Um, 120 LEDs per meter. They have a 30, 60, and a 90 option as well. Uh, waterproof rating is not very good. These are indoor use only, IP20. 
Uh, color is the 6000, so that's like the brightest, coolest white that you can get. Uh, yeah, so that, that should be basically enough. Um, there is basically uh, nothing in these at all except for um, free six month extended warranty. Uh, which I'm not going to worry about because these things were like $12. Uh, a little extendo kit. So it's the style where you take, if I can open, you put the uh, strip on there and then you're supposed to be able to clamp it down so that you can plug two ends in together and continue the strand. Um, however, we won't be using any of that. So uh, basically all we're going to do because we have 12 volt everywhere else in the trailer is I'm going to take the end of the LEDs here and snip this guy off and then I will strip the wires back inside. There's just a red and black um, positive ground. Strip that back and um, solder on a new wire that will go to the relay and the switch and blah 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 so that that is all taken care of. So um should be easy, not too bad. So this is the little diffuser that is on here, uh, big wobbly thing. So we have the LED into the track. So I'm going to put the diffuser onto it and then uh, this LED is into its track with the end down here, ready for uh, a snip and then we will wire it on. The wire is probably gonna duck back to that corner and then go behind the piece of trim there up and then into the main wiring harness. Well, that adds a little bit more light. Not too bad, not too bad at all. So um, pretty simple install on that. Uh, I have some more wiring to do to get it all um, finished, finished, and working on the switch because that's the only thing that is not hooked up yet is the interior lights. So I've got one more switch leg to run and they will be good. So that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. I believe it was called Glow, glow Back, glow, glow back LEDs.com is where I found the uh, extruded aluminum channel with the diffuser built onto them. Uh, and like I said, I'm pretty sure these LED Mo Finding Nemo lights are just cheapies off Amazon. Uh, but I'll go ahead and drop the links in the description. Uh, I'm not a famous enough YouTuber yet to have an affiliate link, so that'll just be for your uh, enjoyment of buying and supporting Bezos. Um, other than that, uh, I hope this video helped. Uh, I really like the bench lights. That kind of adds that final little pop of light that I was looking for. So uh, having these three strands in here uh, is going to be more than plenty uh, when it comes to light. Uh, the thing that I really like about all these lights too is that they are continuous down the whole trailer. Uh, so that is 16 feet worth of lights, uh, which there's like hardly any shadows in here. It's pretty awesome. So I think when I get everything else whitewashed and the floor in, everything is going to pop and look really cool. So stay tuned to see those videos and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, and with that, I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Like and comment down below and uh, check out those links for the aluminum channel. Thanks for watching. We're signing off.